Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Carolyn Stitches. My name is Carolyn and this is my floss tube channel about cross stitch. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you have just found me, welcome. I hope you stick around. I discuss my cross stitch, the projects I've been working on. Um, sometimes I throw in a little quilting, knitting, uh, depends on what I'm working on, maybe a little crochet. But I'll try to do the, any quilting, crochet, or knitting at the end of the video, and I'll do haul at the end of the video. I got a lot of haul. Today is Friday, August 20th. I had intended to film this video tomorrow morning when my husband was at work, but he's not working tomorrow, so I figured, well, let me get it out of the way tonight while the house is quiet, because um, I have like four quilts I need to get the binding sewn on tomorrow. I'll, I'll go over those later. One of the quilts I pieced last year for um, coworkers for their little girl, and she turns a year old next month, and I just got invited to her one year birthday party, so I need to get her quilt done and um, get it to her. I made one for her older brother, um, but it's time for her to get her quilt too. So it's been three weeks since I've last seen you. Not much going on, uh, just been working, teleworking from home this week, um, trying to, you know, teleworking from home, it, it's kind of like a little bit of a mental health for me. It, it's more relaxing to get up in the morning, um, clean up after the cats, get the house swept, sit, relax, eat breakfast, do a little reading, um, log in and work and not have to worry about the commute and the traffic, the South Florida traffic, um, to commute to work. So I do try to telework two days a week, which is, um, I'm grateful that my company, um, lets us do that. And, you know, I let my employees have a couple days a week teleworking also. So it's nice, um, especially on a Friday afternoon, not having to be stuck in traffic driving home. Um, not much else going on. I've been doing a lot of stitching and watching a lot of floss tube. Oh my goodness, there are so many new floss tubers I have seen um, lately. Bougie Stitchers, um, a sister team. Uh, I want to say they're in Wyoming. They're great. Go check them out. Virginia Stitcher. I think it's Vicki. Um, she's great. I've been watching her. Um, there's another mother-daughter team. I just watched them today. I can't think of their name. Jade. The daughter's name is Jade. They seem to be pretty new stitchers, but they're, you know, they're jumping into it with their floss tube videos. Um, I watched a lot of old Made by Michelle McGraw, um, videos. I kind of went back and was watching her from the beginning. Candace K. I've been watching this week. Um, I've been watching a lot of floss tube. It's just seeing when everyone's stitching, and I've been going back and watching old videos, too, um, just to see what's going on out there, get inspiration and some ideas. I know, I'll show you one project I did get inspired by Candace K. Um, she switched out a fabric, and it inspired me, and I switched out the fabrics, and I'm loving it so far, so I'll go over that. Um, what else? Just a lot of floss tube. Oh, um, head over to Instagram. On Instagram, I am a fiber freak. A fiber freak yes a fiber freak because I quilt I knit I stitch if I turn this camera you will see all the yarn and supplies and fabric it's crazy um, but over on Instagram this month um, there is uh, prompts every day I like, called common threaded stitcher hashtag common threaded stitcher it's put on by Kia B, Quilting Tech Guy in the Hive, Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching, um, Jen Quirks and Stitches, um, Snug Harbor Crafts, there's a few others, Brendan Lee, who I think is Quirk and Stitches' husband, they're, they're kind of like sponsoring it, but every day there's a different prompt, um, and I've made some new friends, so check it out. I've, you know, followed, found a lot of new stitchers, gotten ideas, some prompts are, you know, stitchy related, and some prompts are fun. Um, like sharing a recipe, um, a book, your word of the year. Um, so it's interesting. I'm going to try to keep up with it for the rest of the month. Um, and you meet new stitchers. I know I did it two years ago, and that's how I met um, Janet Jabber. 
I haven't kept in touch with her too much lately. Hi, Janet. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Um, but that's how I first met Janet Jabber and she was new to everything and she had a unicorn pattern for me. So, um, thank you, Janet. I'm still, it's still in my whip pile to get stitched. Um, but I'll get back to it. So I have been doing a lot of stitching since we last met, um, three weeks ago and, um, yeah, I dyed my hair blue. Sorry for the hot mess of my hair. Um, I didn't get a chance to, I was teleworking. There was no point in me styling my hair today and I didn't plan on making the video, but I had to go back to putting color in my hair. I am white hair, early gray. I don't mind it. I embraced it early. However, I try to dye my hair some kind of funky color or put highlights in it twice a year and I hadn't had it done in the past year and my hair was pure white. And I got tired of people mistaking me for my husband's mother. He's five years older than me. I do not look old enough to be his mother. So I got a little tired of being referred to as his mother. And I put my glue back in my hair and had fun with it because I like color. So let's get into the stitching. I have a finish from the last time I saw you. I have new starts. And a finish and I have new whips and I got a lot of haul and then I'll share some of the quilting with you so hope you stick with me this may be a long video but let's get into it so one of my first finishes and I didn't bring it over here nope sorry Royal Games 1 and Royal Games 2 and I showed it in the last video that I was only in the part of beading. And I had a lot of beading and the back stitch borders to do on it. So I will insert a video, but I stitched it on 32 count Belfast linen and colorway lilac. And I will insert a video here to go over it with you. So I hope you like So I wanted to share with you my completed Royal Games 1 and 2 stitched on a 32 count of 32 count Belfast linen colorway lilac. It's a little hard to pick up on the camera here, but it's very, very fail, uh, fail, pale um, pink. They are gorgeous. Sorry for my finger. And I just saw a cat hair. Black kitty cat hair getting on everything. Um, they are gorgeous with all the beads and the Krennic threads. Things that I did have issues with were um, where you have a lot of beads in a row here like on her necklace, um, sorry, here on the cues, this cue, and on her necklace. It was a little difficult getting all the beads in a row. Um, these large beads here you know getting the placement of those or where they want you to actually put the beads in I kind of fudged it up here in the um, corner one pack of beads that they called for you only use it for 10 stitches up here in her little staff thing so if you have a color to substitute it you might want to substitute it but if you got the embellishment pack you have the beads but you only use 10 beads here in the corner the bugles um, getting them situated I kind of wish I would have gone back and stitched behind them because if they shift a little, um, the white the white of the fabric shows through, but I think once it's on the wall, you won't see it. And then um, I kind of tried to follow the pattern for exact placement on these and then just finally um, gave in and placed it wherever I could get them placed. Um, some of these bugles do need a little finagling get out of line a little but I think it is gorgeous um, one thing I'll touch base on is the Queen of Diamonds her cue is done in a red Krynic and it said you could do the Queen of Clubs cue in black Krynic and I wish I would have done that it's just DMC 310 be it on the Queen of Spades and the Queen of Hearts the cues are beaded and I kind of wish I would have done those in Krennic also, just to have it uniform. I'm not sure why the two patterns are so just are so different. 
um, you know, the queen of diamonds. Her diamond is beaded. The spade, the diamond, the club is beaded. The heart, the, it's really beaded. But on the spade, it's not as beaded on the border. So there are some things I wish were a little more consistent. But over on that, it's um, gorgeous. I absolutely love it and cannot wait. I'm so happy it's finished. And I'm going to take it to my local cross-stitch store tomorrow, the cross-stitch cupboard in Wilton Manors, Florida, and have it framed and then figure out where I'm going to hang it on the wall. Thank you, everyone. Like that video, I don't have the project here to share with you because I wanted to get it down to my local cross-stitch store, um, the cross-stitch cupboard in Wilton Manors, and I dropped it off Saturday and picked out um, matting and frame and everything and it's down there being framed and I'm so excited I can't wait to get it back so that was one of my finishes that I finished since the last time we spoke my second finish that I did was spooky night by the stitchworks and I started this a while ago and I just wanted to get it done and I stitched it on 32 count picture this plus rubious linen and there's the finish. It's coming pretty true to color. Um, I used some whisper thread on the little black cat. I don't know if it's showing up. Um, I did change out a color here in the tree. That tree called for, one moment, that tree called for Weeks Dye Works Onyx. And I used um, storm clouds, gentle arts. I think it's gentle arts, but it's storm clouds. It had um, some green to it, so I, I like the way that turned out. And I may have switched out some other flosses too. If you'd like to know, um, just let me know, and I can look it up. I'm pretty sure I switched out the gray to something I had in stash, and I may have switched out the hubby Halloween because that's a variegated. So that is Spooky Night by the Stitchworks. And I gotta figure out how I wanna finish this. I have some Halloween things that I may mount this to and hang it from. Um, not quite sure yet. And I had another start and finish. I, got, I have like five or six starts or finishes. I was on a kick doing some smalls. And I was trying to do, I had all these grand plans of doing like black cat appreciation because August 17th was Black Cat Appreciation Day, and we just newly adopted um, a black cat, and we also adopted a calico. Um, you're not going to see them in this video because they're not allowed in this room. There's too much for them to get into, and I haven't let them in this room yet. Um, but you can follow them. If you want to see them, I try to post pictures of them on their own Instagram page, which is spirit underscore tranquility. Um, I like to post about them. The, the shelter we adopted them from, Adopt-A-Cat Foundation in Palm Beach, Florida. Um, wonderful ladies, they do a lot for the shelter, for the cat, for the cats. Um, they take in a lot of cats that people just like their owners die or people just don't want the cats anymore. And it's sad. Um, but I like to post about how well the cats are doing because um, the shelter volunteers um, they're very close to the cats and they took such good care of them and they like to watch and see how the cats are progressing in, in their new home and you know I know one of the cats they raised from a kitten the other was rescued from the airport I know the one that was rescued the raised from a kitten our black one quill or tranquility we call him quill they're very attached to him and I like them to be able to see his antics and <clears throat> the mischief that he gets up to in our house so Long story short, I meant to do black cat appreciation stitching. Um, stitch on anything that had a black cat in it, and I was on a roll for a while. And then things change, and I stitched some other stuff. So one of the first things I worked on was a little Mill Hill kit, um, Kitty Witch. And I switched the um, eyes to some beads. Um, our cat has really beautiful um, gold eyes, our black cat. So this is all beaded and then I got to figure out how to um, fold this and make it into the little hanging thing and then do the beaded tassels. Uh, one of the next things I stitched on 
was Sign of the Cat. This one. It's in the 2018 Just Cross Stitch Magazine Halloween Edition. And I'm trying to make sure I don't show you the pattern. But Sign of the Cat. It is a Doreen Jones pattern. I left off the border. And I just stitched the cat in the center. And I stitched that on some random piece of um, Ada I had. And I, I, I got it from a scrap pack or something. Um, but I really like this. I'm going to try to do it in a circle finish. Make like a little ornament or something to hang up somewhere. But I, I think this fabric was beautiful with this. Um, it's a little more orangey than what the camera is picking up. But it's, um, it's gorgeous. And it kind of captures his eyes once again. Because his eyes are like... They're not green. They're like a gold amber color. They're, he's very unique. Another quick stitch I did was Alley Cat. This is Cinder. Um, the main body of the cat here is a blend. It's like two strands of $37.99 and one strand of a, of a gray. And then that $37.99 is used in the border. I ran out of $37.99, um, the dark gray that came with the kit. First time I ever had floss that I ran out of um, from a Mill Hill kit. So luckily I had more and I was able to finish it up. And so this is Cinder and it's on an Ada. Um, 14 count Ada that came with the kit. Um, I have another one to do. I think it's called Ash. And that one's on like a lime green Ada. So I'm going to think I might get, just get the little frames. For these and finish them in the frames or I've been seeing people post that there's frames at the Dollar Tree um, that fit these mill hills perfectly so I think I'm gonna take a run by my Dollar Tree and see if I can find the um, Dollar Tree one dollar frames and, and see if these will fit in them and another new start and finish like I said I was stitching a lot not much to do still we're Florida if you haven't watched the news, our COVID cases are back up. It's crazy. So it's best just to stay home and hang out and watch BlessTube. So my next one is Lizzie Kate, If You Live to Be 100. I picked this one up um, a month ago. I went over to the Golden Needle in Port Charlotte with a friend for their Christmas in July sale. And I picked this one up. And I stitched it on 28 count even weave and colorway chai, C H A I, like chai, oh chai, chai by Seraphine Fabrics. And I don't know how long this one took me. Oh, let me look at my little book. I'm trying to be good and write it down in my little book. This one took me about three days to stitch. If you live to be 100, I want to live to be 100 minus one day, so I never have to live a day without you. Um, I use the called for DMCs, not the fancy flosses. Um, there's a brown and like a mauve color, um, but I think it looks fabulous on this fabric. Um, I think it'll fit in an 8x10 frame that I just may mount it and frame it and give it to my hubby and it's a little girly but I'll put it up in the bedroom somewhere but I really like this one and my last new start and finish I picked this up at the cross stitch cupboard when I went there Saturday to drop off my framing it's the stitch works and it's pet rescue and it says you can't buy love but you can rescue it and I have these, um, I did not use the called for flosses, but I had these beautiful silks um, in my stash. Beautiful variegated. I think these are silks for you. Silks where you get, you can order like little sampler skeins. So I think these are silks for you silks because I have like another little baggie of silks. So I pulled some silks gorgeous colors and I stitched that one up and this is stitched on a scrap piece of 32 count even weave toasted almond hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie I got this years ago in one of my original like stitchy boxes 
been holding onto this piece of fabric and it worked out perfectly. I hope you can't hear that. My husband's making noise in the other room. Um, so I, I think I'm going to do a cube finish and I have some beautiful little artworks of my two cats that um, an artist on Instagram, the Sandwich Cats, I believe. She's a local artist. Um, I believe she started out by drawing pictures of cats on her lunch bags for her daughter's lunch. And now she commissions her art and draw, does drawings of cats and stuff. So she gifted me with two drawings of my cats. One she did um, when my black cat, Quill, when he was still with the shelter. Long story, he was adopted. He somehow escaped. It took them two months to find him. And then the shelter got him back. And then we patiently waited um, a month and a half or so um, before we adopted him because we fell in love with him when we went to meet our other, our other cat spirit. Um, so she gifted me some artwork she did of him and an artwork she did of my spirit. So I, I think I'm going to finish this as a cube finish and um, probably put it on my desk next to their pictures. I, did, I just love the colors. It's very vibrant and, and bright. Okay, what next? Those are my finishes. Hold on, let me show my book. Those are my finishes. Whips. Uh, let's go through my whips. So I did work on, since the last time we saw me, saw I saw you or I visited with you, Tempting Tangles, The Great Cheshire Pumpkin. This is on, uh, good question, what is this on? Oh, I'm sure the paper is in this, oh, there's the paper, pardon me. This is on 28 count dapple. I think it's a picture of this plus linen and it's in the cue snap but I finished the house I got all the the house finished um, so you can see by the picture I got all of the house finished and then I started the um, witch so I'll get back to this at some point I just needed a break after uh, building that big old house that took a while. And this one I keep in a project bag that my good friend Carrie Lynn made me. And the other whip I have, it's a new start in a whip. Um, this was one I was inspired by Candace K. It is um, the Let's Talk Chalk series by Hands on Design. And this is um, Let's Talk Autumn. And Candace K showed in one of her videos where she did summer and spring and she started them on a very bright fabric, not on the sleet or the black or whatever it is that it calls for, the chalkboard fabric that it calls for. And I was, I like that idea. I pulled fabrics. I have winter, spring, summer, and autumn. I pulled fabrics for all of them that are not chalkboard. They're all bright um, and colorful. So my autumn one, I started the other night. Put something behind it, sorry about that. And this is on 32 count Fiberlicious, yeah, Fiberlicious fabrics. Um, even weave and it's lava chocolate. It is a gorgeous wine color. Um, the camera is white, blocking it out a little. That, that looks about good on the color. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that looks about good on the color. Um, I think it's just popping. And it, it really speaks autumn to me. So um, this is my current that I'm working on. It's going real fast because of the, um, the words. I like stitching words. They go fast. Okay. Let me plans. Do I have all my plans here? Some of my plans are in my haul pile, but for now my plans are going to be um, continue stitching on Let's Talk Autumn. And as I mentioned earlier, my plans are also to um, get some binding sewn on quilts. 
which I will show towards the end. If you'd like to see the quilt, I'll show the quilt. And that's about it. Tomorrow we'll be clearing off this sewing table and wrestling. I have four quilts, four. One's a king size, the other's a throws. A Christmas one, the baby quilt, which is not really baby, I kind of make them like a throw size and I don't make them baby baby so the kids can grow into them. Um, I gotta get this binding attached to these quilts and get them out of this room so I have some room. We're having hurricane windows, impact windows installed at the end of September and one of the windows is here in my sewing room and I gotta clear like three feet from the window which is gonna destroy this room. This room is like packed and to clear three feet in front of the window for them to install the, the hurricane impact window it's just gonna destroy my room so if I can get some quilts done and get them out of this room that'll be nice. Um, haul. Let me go into haul. I got quite a bit of haul. Quite a bit of haul. Um, I have to share with you this new project bag that I got online um, from Etsy, Just Crossing Stitches. She's on Etsy. She makes beautiful, beautiful project bags. They're very good quality. Um, the stitching is beautiful. She includes like a little tag is just crossing stitches little fob um, but check her out on Etsy um, her bags are beautiful I'm gonna get some more definitely get some more bags from her I've sewn project bags but my time hasn't allowed me to sew too much and I'd kind of rather be stitching or doing my quilts so I haven't had time to sew project bags and I have like a stack of fabric for project bags but when I saw this one I was like you know what I will just buy it and I will have a project bag. And I just love it. Okay. And then I got in Victorian Motto Sampler threads. I used to belong to their um, Thread of the Month Thread Club. I stopped it like a year ago. I got a whole bunch of Victorian Motto threads. Um, but then I noticed they're selling their, their monthly is on Etsy now. So you can just go on to Etsy and get the threads for that month. Um, I got the August limited edition threads and they are gorgeous. This frosty blushy one is just a white with a hint of pink in it. So this is the Victorian Motto Sampler August limited edition, which is on their um, Etsy page. And while I was there, I saw the, what is it called? I had the bag here somewhere, sorry. Eerie and spooky Halloween. Oh my God, look at these colors. This fuchsia, these names are great. The fuchsia is spooky purple. We got vampires, this really deep rich red. Dracula, um, Halloween haunting moon variegation in there. This gold is eerie moon glow. Look at that green. Bride of Frankenstein. Hey Gary, here you go. Frankenstein. Put your green. Let's see if you can get color back. That's gorgeous. And haunted spirits. So these are gorgeous. I'm gonna have to find um some great Halloween patterns to um, substitute some of these flosses in. Okay, so bear with me. I got a few things. Oh, I want to share this with you. I love Barbara Anna Designs, and she has some patterns that she only does exclusively with a Russian company called Nitka. And you can find them online. There, there are websites in English also. Um, I did have an issue ordering where it wasn't accepting my city. I messaged them and they were so helpful in helping me place my order. And it came super fast from Russia with tracking and everything. And they come in these little tubes. So it's a company called Nitka. I'm not affiliated with them anyway, but I'm, I'm just loving these patterns. And I got Barbara Anna's The Four Seasons. And it's a kit. Um, and in the kit, in the tube, let's open it up. You get, one second, all the flosses, beautifully braided and numbered. 
and they sent a big old piece of linen to stitch it on. I'm not going to stitch them all um, in a row on the big piece of linen. I want to stitch them individually. And the pattern, I'm only going to show you a piece of it. The pattern is huge, big pattern. So I got that one, the Four Seasons. It's exclusive to the um, Nitka website. And I'm going to do them individually. Sorry, let me put it all back. I'll use their floss. Um, but the linen, I, like I said, I want to do them individually. I'll, I'll keep that linen and I'll use it for some other project because it's, it's a really nice linen. And so that was one. And I figured since I got a package coming from Russia, I got their other kit. And it is Barbara Anna Christmas Tree. Exclusive to um, Nitka. And this one I will use, um, I'll use the linen they sent with it. So let me open it up and show you. The beautiful flosses, all numbered. Beautiful flosses and braided to keep them from tangling. And this one comes with a piece of um, even weave and they even throw in the needle. So, at some point, I will start these. I don't know when. I'm not making any commitments. But, you know, planning for my retirement. Gotta have some stuff in the stash. These will get done at some point. Everything will get done at some point. Isn't that what we all say? I mean, I think we, I, I think quite a few of us can say our stash, um, we've hit Sable, stash acquired beyond life expectancy. Um, but one day, I'll retire. Hopefully, and hopefully I'll still be able to see and I'll stitch. But at least stitching, it's kind of harmless. I could have worse addictions, I guess, than stitching. Okay, so some haul. I picked up Kels Kesslin's Five Friends, and I got If the Hat Fits, If the Hat Fits, and Five Friends. And I plan on stitching these on the same piece of fabric, one on top of another with little space. And it called for prank in 40 count. I got prank, I picked this up at the cross stitch cupboard. I got it in 32 count linen, cause I can't, um, I can't see 40 count. I want my eyes to last so I can stitch when I'm old. I ain't that old yet, I'm getting there, but I still want my eyes to last so I can stitch when I'm old. So I got prank and I'm gonna stitch them both on prank. Prank looks darker in the picture than what I got, but it'll work. And it has um, some beads. It calls for some beads, so I got the beads. While I was at the cupboard, I picked up ink circles. Another year creeps by. So it's kind of um, Halloween-y. There's a skull, coffins, um, bones. Hourglasses, bats, eyes. So this looks like fun. Another year creeps by ink circles. And I found this at the cross stitch cupboard, the Needles Notion Cauldron Cottage. I thought that was really cute. This is one I'll probably, um, I think it calls for some sampler threads and simply shaker thread. Oh, gentle art threads. Um, burnt orange. I think it calls for three things of burnt orange for that big old pumpkin. Um, but I got some gorgeous Victorian motto sampler threads. I just may substitute everything in this and do some Victorian mottos. Whatever I get around to doing it. But I thought that was really cute. I picked up Juanita. Witchy Poo's big sis. She is not quite sure of her broom skills, but she rocks those boots. AB, Amy Brunken Designs. Juanita. Um, I didn't get this fabric to go with Juanita, but I saw it and I had to get it. It's a fabric flare fabric spider webs. Oh, it's 
washing out. Does that work? It's kind of orangey. It's really washing out because of my light. It's orangey, spider webs, got some little spots. I think she might look good on it. I might actually put her on it. But I saw that. I had to get it. I asked Karen at the Cross Stitch Cupboard to order me this chart. I like Quakers. I'm not a primitive person, really. I do some primitive kind of stuff here and there. I don't really do the samplers. There's beautiful, they're beautiful, but they're not really my thing. Um, but I like Quakers, and I like Quakers especially that have kind of quirky patterns in them, kind of like um, Lila Studios, the Halloween Quaker. I did that one. Um, I like RETMs, the gobbles, because it has a Quaker, but it has it's silly because it has like the turkeys. Um, I, th I have that new Teresa Kogu one, Silowitches or something. So I like Quakers that have some, um, sorry, uniqueness to them. And I got Quaker Gone Tropical by Michelle Ink Needlework Designs. Because it's Florida, so why not have a tropical Quaker? And I will probably just pull flosses from my stash and just kind of make up my own colors once again on this. It calls for, um, what does it call for? Probably silks or something. Silk and colors is what it calls for. I'm just gonna pull from stash. So I'm probably from the Victorian mottos and just pull my own color. Oh, excuse me, my own colors. Um, and I guess I've turned into a cat lady now with her cats. Um, I had dogs for 18 years. Um, two Chinese Cresteds, the little hairless naked guys. You couldn't find anything with Chinese Cresteds. Loved my Chinese Cresteds. They were my babies. But the last one passed away in November. And um, too soon for me to get a dog. I, I just compare it to my pups who I, you know, had since they were puppies. So we got, we went cats. Hadn't had a cat in 20 something years. So we want cats and I'm loving my cats. Yes, they make a mess. Nowhere near like the dogs made a mess, especially the boy Quill, our black one. He makes a mess. But it's no different than my husband, so I just have two people that make a mess. Well, one person and then a cat who make the mess. Um, but I got these Bumblebee by Kitty and Me Designs. This yeah, Bumblebee? Bumblebee. Bumblebee by Kitty and Me Designs. I got this one because this looks like my little, as close as it can be to my little calico spirit. My little calico spirit has like half orange face, half black face, and then she's like black and orange. Um, she's beautiful. But this is as close as I can get to my little calico spirit. I'm probably not going to put the little bee button on, a, on the nose. Um, maybe, maybe not. But I got this one. And then... My other guy, he's black, and they had one midnight that was like black and gray. Not midnight. I don't know what it's called, but it's a black and gray one. But I got midnight in the blues because I just love that. It's very celestial looking. Um, so I love that one. At some point, I'll stitch that. And I think these call for like Krennic. Like you use quite a bit of Krennic in these. And hang with me like three more things in the haul and then we'll go on to some quilts uh, I hit I'm not even showing you anywhere near all the haul I got and it's obscene obscene I hit a Christmas in July sale at the Golden Needle with my friend um yeah I think we paid between her and I we probably paid her rent for the month um but hey a three hour drive over we were making the best of it and um yeah and then you know there's delivery shopping I got Sam Sarah studio home for Christmas I really like that because it's it's just not your traditional it's kind of quirky and fun home for Christmas and I got this gorgeous piece of weeks dye works 30 count the van cherry vanilla to stitch it on I think that will look really pretty cherry vanilla week style works linen and then I got the little banner um, to hang it on whenever whenever I finish it whenever I finish it 
um, Lila's Studio All Hallows Eve. That's very cute. And then this is the one that's cracking me up. I saw this, and I meant to bring the magazine in here, but I saw this as a newly released pattern from Keslin's, and it's called What and Why. And I thought it was hilarious. What and Why. And then, if you have the new Halloween issue, that same cat is in the new Halloween issue. Didn't know that. Or if I probably wouldn't have bought this pattern, but I still like the little what cat down here. But this, this what, I mean the Y cat, but this what cat is like huge. It's 75 stitches by 92 stitches. It seems so big. No, sorry, Y. Y, the Y one. 88 stitches by 124 stitches. It's kind of huge. Um... And I had originally pulled some fabric from my stash thinking it'll fit, but not once I got the pattern. So I'm going to do, my plan is to do Y on this piece. Oh, that's right. There we go. This is Weeks 36 Count Pumpkin by Weeks Dye Works. It's a linen. So I'm going to do the Y, the big one, on that. And then what... that's how my little cat talks to me meowing. This is on I don't know, Kermit? I think that's Kermit. Um, I think this is Kermit. It's not marked. It's not marked at all. I'm pretty sure it's Kermit. It's an even weave. So I'm going to do it on this one. Okay. So that is it for the cross stitch part of the program. If you um, would like to see some quilting stash I just got and if you want to see I got two quilts over here and I got this quilt that has been pieced since last year. I pieced this last year and it's still sitting on my, my design wall and it would be a simple thing of sewing it together and getting it to the quilter to quilt. I guess I just like looking at it. Um, if you oh crud I have to do a giveaway. I have a giveaway from last week. I will have to film that separately and insert it here. Okay, we're going to do our drawing for the giveaway. I have the video in here. The name Christmas was our first drawing. Four comments and let's pick. And the winner for Christmas rules is Chris Brown. So Chris, please email me at my email address below or reach out to me on Instagram. And next one for harvest time, the keyword was harvest. We had one comment, so this should be pretty simple. It looks like it's Teresa. So Teresa Shukle, Shukle, once again, please email me at my email address below or reach out to me on Instagram at a fiber freak. And the last one was the marking sampler 12 days of Christmas. And we had one comment on that also. And Teresa. Okay, so congratulations. Thank you. So congratulations on the giveaway. Um, and then let's get into the quilting stuff. So quilting stash, pardon me. I picked up this kit, Goose Chase. It is a panel, little black cat, Halloween. Very cute kit, comes with all the fabric. It's a panel. And then I had pre, sorry for the noise. I had pre-ordered and it finally came in because I love Tula Pink. And I ordered the Merry and Bright quilt with Holiday Homies. Um, she released her, re-released her Holiday Homies fabric line 
in flannel. So this is Holiday Homies. It's the kit. It's flannel. It's going to be so cozy warm. And yeah, I mean, I live in South Florida. Why do I need a flannel quilt? Why not? We get maybe a total of a week where it's chilly. Um, but maybe one day I'll finish it and I'll be living in a colder climate because I don't intend on living in Florida when I retire. Okay, quilts. Let's show you the quilts. This is the quilts I need to finish. Um, it's all scraps. It is a tutorial from Missouri Star Quilting. And it's on their YouTube. You can find it on their YouTube. So everyone is like a different fabric and I kind of do it with these fun little fabric so you know you can kind of do it almost like an I spy quilt and this is one of my most cherished fabrics an old Michael Miller fabric and there's a little Chinese crested in there um, I did throw in I fussy cut some fabric this one has Florida for the Atlantic because my friends you know they now live here in Florida but I also have um, here, India, because my friends are from India. So I also included India in the quilt. But it's great, I spy. And you can just lay here with the quilt and play an I spy. So it's super cute. Back is just a plain back. And my long arm quilter is um, Dottie Levine in Boca Raton, Florida. She does my long arm quilting for me. So I gotta get that binding sewn on. And the one of the other quilts I pulled out to show you, this is one I pieced this years ago. I pieced it years ago. It's a Robert, yeah, it's Robert Kaufman fabric. I have no idea what the quilt pattern, what the pattern is called, but it's a very simple pattern. I think this was um, uh, layer cake. And it's very simple, but it's just all these really bright, cute Christmas motifs. Got a little border with penguins and snowmen, great lime green color. Um, when she quilted it, she used, a, I don't know if you can see it, a lime green thread to quilt it. In my backing, I piece, try to piece my backings when I can. I had some leftover fabric from the border and then I just had this snowman print that I found to finish it off with. So this quilt, oh my God, it got pieced a long time ago, sat in the closet and I finally, you know, sent it to the long armor, had it quilted and then um, now I gotta sew the binding on it. So that's one of the quilts I gotta do the binding on and then I got two more, but they're over there, and that's that. So, thank you for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe, and please follow me over on Instagram at a fiber freak. Um, look for me in a common threaded stitcher. I'm participating in that. You can learn a little more, a little more about me. Um, if you have any questions on anything that I showed today, leave me a comment below. I'll, I'll respond to you. I'll get back to you. Um, I do read my comments and I appreciate, um, any comments you have to offer. I know there's a lot of floss tubers out there and we have a lot of new floss tubers. Um, there was that recent article that was written about cross stitch which I thought was great, you know, the resurgence of cross stitch in the cross stitch community and the floss tube community. Um, and I think we've seen an uptick in new stitchers and especially um, the pandemic. That's what I'm seeing from a lot of the um, new floss tube videos I'm watching. A lot of these new floss tubers, it sounds like um, a lot of them just picked up cross stitching in the past year or so during the pandemic. So it's great that there's new, um, new people doing the, uh, the craft. Um, keeps it alive. It's, it's always wonderful. It, it, same thing I saw with 
I've been quilting since I was in high school. I'm not that old, but high school for me was early 90s, you know, late night late 20th century, the late 1900s. Um, I was in high school um, and I started quilting then. And then you didn't really hear about quilting and still the early 2000s and then the whole modern um, quilting thing surged and all the young, young, yeah, younger than me, younger crowd kind of um, started quilting, found the hobby, quilted, made it modern, made it their own, um, kind of stuff I was always trying to do anyway was I never was into the traditional fabrics I always liked bright colorful stuff you look at some of my old quilts you know nothing's traditional fabrics it's novelty prints crazy prints bright colorful prints you know I never used anything traditional colorways or anything um, so the modern quilt movement resurfaced and an interest in quilting popped up again but it's great to see too that um, cross stitch is, is really taken off and I think it's the help of the floss tube community which is wonderful um, so I think that's it for now I got some editing to do because I forgot to do my drawing if if you were one of the drawers please um, contact me my email address is in the box below you can follow me you can find me on Instagram at a fiber freak just get in touch with me and let me know your address and I will get those out into the mail to you. So since I forgot to do my drawing, let me go uh, film that now so I can insert it back in the video. So that is all. It is Friday night. I am going to clean up this mess because I'm sure any of you who have done a floss tube video know that it's a mess. There's a lot to pull out and there's a lot to put up and I gotta make sure everything gets put back in its right spot and gets put away correctly or I'm gonna lose something and clean up this room and get it ready for um, binding, quilt bindings tomorrow. So all this needs to, all this needs to be cleared off. So have a good Friday night everyone. Get some stitching done. I will try to be back let me check my handy calendar. I don't have one of those days I just got a little calendar. Let me check my calendar here and see when I might be able to be back. It might be one, two, three weeks. I'm looking at every three weeks to come back because that's when my husband works. And he is supposed to work tomorrow, but he's not. So that's why I filmed tonight. So it'll probably be three weeks when you see me again. I feel that's a good time where I got a lot to show you, a lot to go over. Um, I'm gonna have a crazy week next week and my niece turns 21 my youngest niece my youngest niece turns 21 and my husband and I and her mother and her sister we are taking her down to Fort Lauderdale uh, we're gonna start the night at a drag show with dinner and a drag show and then we're gonna go hit some hit some fun spots and have some fun so that'll be an interesting night out and then other than that I'll recover from it and we'll have a nice long Labor Day weekend and then I'll get back to you in September and I am sure the rate I'm going with stitching is I hopefully will have some more finishes for you and maybe I'll try to get off my keister and fully finish something else so thank you for joining me have a wonderful night have a wonderful weekend go have fun stitching Go check out the Common Threaded Stitcher on Instagram. Check out my Instagram, A Fiber Freak. I know I've said it a few times, but hey, come check me out. That's where you see all my updates. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for sitting through this long video. And I will see you next time. Bye.